Yo, what is up guys? Cody here. So today we are going to be doing a collision test for the end of the world prediction of Planet Nine or Planet Nebru. Today, it's going to be epic. It's not a launch this time. It's a complete tested simulation. And I'm really excited for this because this is my first unlaunched simulation. So let's get right into it by pressing start. So obviously we can see that orbits are about to collide and something major is most likely to happen. Because I'm taking it that Earth is going to be pulled towards planet 9's gravitational pull. Yes it is. Earth is about to die guys. So this is going to be a bit different. Usually we see things hit Earth. But we already know that Earth is going to die. I just... What's the effects going to be? Are we going to hit Planet 9? Or are we just going to drag past it? Hmm. Well, I can say by now we are feeling strong, severe, huge earthquakes, tsunamis from the gravitational pull. And so close we would start to lose our atmosphere and we wouldn't be able to breathe and acid rain would start. In fact, no rain would start. Why? Due to the atmosphere being lost, Planet Nine. Um, we are going to be looking for some effects on Planet Nine, though. We already know that world's going to end, and I thought, hmm, hmm, what could we do instead for the aftermath? Maybe we can talk about ways we can avoid this if this actually is real. Okay, we are about to collide. By the looks of it, if not, we are going to scan. Yep. We are going to Clyde. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah! So completely by now, we would feel a huge water loss. Whoa, you'd go, whoa. By now, Australia is completely engulfed in gases. Now, it is thought that Planet Nine could be a possible rocky planet, but I'd say it's a gas planet, if anything. Earth's temperature is rising, but that doesn't matter because we are about to be engulfed. Okay, guys, I'm going to leak where I live. Right here. Right in New Zealand. We are about to be engulfed into gas. Um, how scary would it be? I'd be, well, we're dead anyway if we didn't have the technology. Um, bye New Zealand. Have a good day. Oh, shit, look at this. You can actually see New Zealand still, it's just rotating out of the, um, what collided with Planet Nine. You can even see Australia coming out. Okay, New Zealand is truly gone now. Bye! And gone. What's the impacts on Planet Nine today? Well, look at this. That would be a pretty sight if we somehow got a spaceship and we could actually, well get away from this collision that would be amazing it would last for minutes hours days shockwaves of gas is coming out of planet nine and the hot usually look at this it's even remodeling the gas the gases of planet nine so Earth is completely lost and the gases of Planet Nine, we're dead. Oh, that would be amazing if you just saw a wall of gas coming towards you and then you just rotated away from it for a bit, like a few minutes, and then you got engulfed in it again. However, you would have died from extreme heat, starvation of oxygen, and all that anyway. Hey, look at this. Even at Planet Nine is heating up from the collision. Jesus Christ. This is interesting. Okay. It kind of looks kind of scary. It kind of looks like a ball of bloody lava. The temperature is 3000 degrees, which is pretty substantial. It would turn the earth to a complete mantle. What does it look like after? Is there like this higher concentration of gas on the planet? Or does it even out? 
So I believe it would take a few days to cool down. Earth days, of course. Look at this, we have a collision. We kind of have an idea of where Earth hit. It's just uneven spokes of gas. Let's go ahead and let's have a look at how it affected the futures on this planet. There's actually a whole bunch of water inside Planet Nine. So what would happen if we do? Oh, okay. Okay, so Planet Nine is actually a rocky planet. Never knew that. However, it seems like the water is inside of the planet as a form of ice of course so maybe after impact if it washed away all that hydrogen we could potentially create life on this so let's see for the second part of the video can we terraform planet 9 can we terraform it Okay, so let's start off by adding a nice atmosphere. Okay. Okay. So it seems like that's kind of impossible. Why is it impossible? Because I don't know how to change it. I mean, it's usually in temperature. But there's nothing there for the atmosphere. So it seems like we can't... Look at this. In fact... Did we modify the water? I don't think we did bits. No, we actually didn't. I'm guessing this is water from the earth and we completely took hydrogen away, so there's somewhere for the water to go. Okay, here's the atmosphere. So if we go one atmosphere of earth. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Planet 9 it would go to 5,000 degrees of the atmosphere. It would be a boiling planet of magma forever. I'm guessing this from the leftover kinetic energy of the Earth's impact. The atmosphere... It might stay on. Let's see what happens after a few days or years or whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's... a few months a second, should we? Okay, so we've actually got a stable heat of 5,000 degrees and whereabouts are you in the... Shit. Habitable zone. So in order for us to be able to live on this planet, we need a completely different atmosphere. Let's go 0 0.25 to hopefully quarter the speed, the temperature. So that failed. 0 0.001. Okay. Even that's quite interesting. 300 degrees. Um, let me have a look. Might be because of the greenhouse effect. Okay. So it goes by atmosphere. Uh, 0 0.00001 would equal a cooler temperature which we could manage so if we go one zero less maybe we could get a more stable temperature maybe even one more zero less shit 0 0.0001 that is somewhat better hmm so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I might terraform the planet next episode. And I'll see you guys in the next video.